Okay, I'm gonna try to get a video of this. Travis is gonna catch this doe. She's laying down there by the that tree there. I hurt my back the other day and I knew I'd probably better not catch her and try to load her on a four-wheeler and so uh, he's got that hook and he's really good at that. She didn't give up much of a fight there. I'm gonna come in here a little closer. Looks like that kid's still alive. There's another one. Hey guys. Yep, make me eat my words, but I said it's very seldom that you ever get a chance to save one, but this is time you do. You check them a hundred times for that one time. Maybe you you get uh, get lucky, huh? So he's gonna tie this dough up. We're gonna take those kids back to the barn, muck her out, tube the claustrum down, and we'll put them in the pen. You'll see them there. So uh, you know we just tie them up just like you would a calf at a rodeo, three leg time. Throw them on the front of the four wheeler in the back there or something. Well, it's nice when things work out. He's gonna clean her face off and get their nose airways cleared up. Sticking a little blade of grass or stick or something kind of up their nose. Clearing that mucus out of it. This one's head swollen up pretty good, but you no, know, he might make it. A little bit. Won't mind some company in there. She'll lick them off a little bit. This is the part that kind of hurts you. She's a big doe. She's probably over 100 pounds even after she spit the kids out. So we'll take her back and get everything happy. Okay, so we milked that one out. Travis is over there tubing that kid now. And then we'll milk this this one out and get these two kids. That brown-headed one with the swollen head was the one that was hanging out of her. Hopefully, everybody will make it. We'll see. All right, well... Travis got the other one too before I didn't even get my phone out. So uh, here I'll show you he's tubing this one now. And if you haven't tubed one, yeah, I know you're gonna always be scared you're getting it down the wrong side of the throat into the lung. But see how he's making noise? If they're making noise, you're in the right spot.
Yeah, but there you see, he's still making noise. And you push that tube way on down like that, you're in the right spot, because it won't go in that far. If you're in the lung, it'll only go in about, you know, maybe halfway or a little bit less. That's why I like these soft tubes. They'll curl up down in their stomach if you go too, too far, and you, but you know you're in there. It's a really, really thick colostrum. This, this little girl had, so he's got to push it kind of slow to get it through that tube. I'd probably suggest giving them two ounces to start with and later on two more. So there he goes. Now we'll uh, we'll check on him later. We'll let the nanny up. And now we'll trim her hooves if she needs a hoof trim right now. It's just always a good time to do it. She may not. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted.